Hey everyone, it's DP Obsessor. Um, I kind of just woke up, but I also have baggy eyes because um, my dog has been not doing so hot. She um, either pulled a muscle, tore a muscle, or like slipped a disc or something. We took her to the vet, but um, they're like, we'll keep her for a thousand dollars overnight give her a little bit and look over her we don't have that kind of money like I mean I mean I guess we do but I mean it's just too much to just keep a dog overnight for like one night but then they also said that they wanted to do like an MRI or something and then if she needs surgery then to give her surgery and all that would cost like five thousand dollars apparently and that's just too much for us my dog, since she's a rescue, we asked her um, foster um, look-over person, and um, she said that the prices were outrageous as well, so we're like trying to look for other clinics and veterinary hospitals to try and get her the care that we need. But, um, so yeah, as you can tell by my eyes, they're kind of extra baggy, I guess, and the way my nose is making my voice sound, you can tell I've been crying a lot. But, um... <laughs> I'll try and keep up a happy spirit for this video, um, so let's get started. I think that's cool that they Ico can. asked me to stay here and help figure out a diplomatic solution to the I feel like that's kind of cool that they can, like, just push air on the, on the packages to get packed and stuff. Living off the land! We don't need your food! But I made your favorite treat. Sweet buns with happy faces on them? <laughs> well, I guess we're not officially on the road yet. The dad's face to me just looked funny when you guys said that. <sighs> Pepper, yip yip! I, I don't know. I feel like it's just a nitpick, but I wish they didn't, like, name them these things, like, Lefty and Pepper. I mean, I went from, like, Abba to Oogie, which, I mean, kind of the same, and then now Pepper and Lefty. It just doesn't feel as good as Abba and Oogie, but anyways, that's just my thing. If you get through to Cora, tell her I said hi. Oh, and... Do you feel anything yet? <laughs> What's taking so long? Iki, I can't concentrate if you keep talking. You can hold the picture of Cora I drew. Wow! I didn't know you could draw. You don't know a lot of things about me, sister. Let's roll! Oh, I'm Yellow King Joe. Have you seen this woman? Well, aren't you an adorable little thing? I'm not adorable. I'm dangerous. Dangerously cute with those cheeks. Aww. This never happened. <laughs> Let's play. Can I trust you? I guess so. <laughs> I'm on a top secret mission to find the Avatar. Have you seen her? I haven't, sorry. Top secret mission, huh? Yeah, it's been pretty dangerous. <laughs> I've seen some things. Really? What kind of things? Crazy things. Cool. I mean, <laughs> what should I call you other than beautiful? I'm Tuya. Mm. Nice to meet you. Ooh, Needle found a girlfriend. <laughs> Go away, Iki. Janora's been looking for you. We're moving on. Looks like you gotta get back to your mission. Good luck, Milo. That's so cute. <laughs> it's kind of like Thanks a Thanks a lot, Iki. You drove away the love of my life. <laughs> tell me the story about how you taught Aang to Earthbend. What's there to tell? I threw some rocks at the Avatar. He got all whiny and Sokka fell in a hole. <laughs> I thought there'd be more to it than that. Well, what about the time you guys took down the Fire Lord? That must have been epic. Oh, Mel yeah. Melanoid? It was hot. I was on a blimp. And I think a giant turtle showed up. Wow, what a day. 
<laughs> okay, you're terrible at telling stories. You're terrible at listening to them. My name's Mila. I like to throw away food and fart in inappropriate moments. <laughs> I'm, I'm so above it all because I'm meditating all the time. Can I talk to you for a second? Don't tell me you're gonna kidnap her. This girl is Tenzin's kid, and she's looking for the Avatar. Do you know what that means? No, but try this macaroon. <laughs> get that out of my face! Don't get discouraged, Iki. You're a valuable member of the team, and you have a big heart. I know you're gonna find her. Now let's get you out of those ropes. <laughs> what did Amon want? Equality for all. Unalak, he brought back the spirits, and Zaheer believed in freedom. I guess. The problem was, those guys were totally out of balance, and they took their ideologies too far. Okay, fine. But that doesn't explain why they keep hunting me. Because you need to face your fears. You can't expect to deal with future enemies if you're still fighting the old ones. Let's go, Pepper. <laughs> That's right. The swamp doesn't want you to win. Say, like, listen to Iki. Yes. The roots of the Banyan Grove tree spread out for miles in every direction, connecting this whole swamp. Tough is so wise. Now that she's an old lady. <laughs> Yes! I love this. So nostalgic. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is Milo, Janora, and Iki, Aang and Katara's grandchildren. Your grandpa was a real pain in my butt. Wait a minute. Cranky? Old? Blind? You must be tough. <laughs> oh, I like this one. <laughs> you need to come home, Cora. All right. I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm not bending it out of you. you got to do this on your own. You can do it, Cora. Let it move through your body. Just kidding. Come on, Cora, you can do it. That fight is over. Release the fear. Sweet! You're almost there! Probably never see Toph again. I'm gonna be upset if that happens. I really hope she comes back to fight though. I know he's in quiet. <laughs> so that was a really great episode. I loved how it came out. Um I don't really have any questions or theories or anything. That's mostly it. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sorry, I don't have any special effects from this, from la like, from last episode or anything, but, yeah. Thank you for watching.